What's up, bitches? I'm back, and I'm here to fuck you up. We're going to be talking about the Giants today. About the Nephilim. And how it's all fucking bullshit to control you. So, um, let's begin. You guys are fucked. You don't stand a chance against me. Um, <clears throat> so let's check out some Bible verses that talk about these giants or Nephilim. Um, <clears throat> King James Bible, 2 Samuel 21, 20. And there was yet a battle in Goth where was a man of great stature that had on every hand six fingers and on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number, and he also was born to the giant. So, Second Samuel 21, 20, um, it's talking about a giant or Nephilim or the offspring of Nephilim. Uh, and this particular giant or breed of giants has six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. Well, um, can you please show me any evidence of this, like skeletal remains of, uh, you know, this classification of, of giant or Nephilim? Can you, can you show me? Uh, like bones or fossils or any evidence at all that this particular giant race existed. No, you, you can't. Is there any museum with these bones or fossils on display? Uh, especially considering that, um, you know, things like dinosaurs, which are just according to science, incredibly fucking ancient, over 200 million years old, or T-Rex, supposedly, they claim, lived about 60 million years ago. So, hold on a second. We have evidence that is the bones or the fossils of uh, creatures, dinosaurs, that lived 60 million years ago or 200 million years ago. But uh, these recent giants that supposedly only lived, what, maybe 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 years ago, there's no evidence at all of them and their, you know, six fingers and six toes on each hand and foot for 20, 24 digits total. Well, where is it? No evidence, doesn't fucking exist. It doesn't even make fucking sense at all that that we can find remains of dinosaurs that are fucking 200 million years old, but uh, the remains of giants that are nowhere, you know, nowhere near to whatever 10,000 years old are just fucking evaporated. They're nowhere. Have any of you ever been walking around your neighborhood or uh, out at a mountain or field or at a beach or anywhere and found a, a skeleton of a Nephilim, you fucking have it because it doesn't fucking exist. You lose. So what else do we have? Um, yeah, I was just, I was checking out the Hebrew for, um, second Samuel, um, 21, two, but I believe we already covered that. And I'm just not going to read the Hebrew. Um, let's go to, what is this? Um, this is numbers chapter 13, verse 33. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who come of the Nephilim, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. In other words, uh, 
these Nephilim or the offspring of the Nephilim, the giants, sons of Anak, they're so fucking massive and big in their, their stature that, uh, <laughs> that the author describes themselves as being nothing more as grasshoppers in comparison to them. Now, once more, is there any evidence at all, bones, fossils, skeletons of some sort of human or humanoids being this fucking big that you're so big in comparison, I'm but a grasshopper. No, there's fucking not. It doesn't exist. You're fucking liars. You're exposed. You're busted. Okay. Where are they at? Where, where's the skeletons? Where's the remains? You don't have any. Shouldn't they be at like, um, you know, the Smithsonian Museum? Hmm? Shouldn't, shouldn't they be there with uh, on display with the, the T-Rex bones or Brontosaurus bones? They're not there. They're not there. Are, is the, uh, you know, are the, the people that run at the Smithsonian hiding the bones from you so they'll show you the t-rex bones that are 60 million years old but won't show you these um nephilim bones that are so big where we normal humans are nothing more than grasshoppers in comparison to them it doesn't fucking exist you're fucked i win you fucking lose you have to submit um what else is next Okay, this is Genesis 6, 4, another verse talking about the Nephilim. The Nephilim were in the earth in those days, and also after that, okay, saying after that, um, referring to, you know, there's a flood that killed almost everybody, supposedly, which is probably also a lie as well, the Nephilim were in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. The same were the mighty men that were of old, the men of renown. Well, here's another example of, um, you know, these mysterious Nephilim that there's no evidence of at all. There's no skeletons, no fossils, absolutely fucking nothing. Where are they at, museums? Where are they at? If they existed, people would be traveling to these museums in droves to check out the skeletal remains or the fossil remains of Nephilim. There'd be a fucking massive market for it. The tickets, everything about it doesn't fucking exist. You know, and uh, once more, you could say, well, the government or the, the Illuminati are, are hiding them all. Well, so you're saying they hid every last fucking Nephilim bone or fossil or remain or, or remains. All of them are just fucking gone. They got all of them. Sure, they did. They don't fucking exist. Um, what else do we have? Let's see. Um... Uh, this is, um, <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter two, verse 11, um, talks about, well, these also are accounted Raphaim as the Anakim, but the Moabites call them Emim, you know, just the Emim, I believe are more references to, uh, offspring of the Nephilim. Where the fuck, where, where in the fuck are these skeletons or remains or fossils? Once more, they're, they're gone. But here, here's more verses talking about how, how many different like tribes or, or, uh, uh, Nephilim groups existed. There's supposedly fuckloads of them. So there should be fuckloads of remains of them. Their skeletons should be everywhere. They're fossils, some sort of evidence, any fucking evidence any fucking evidence you have fucking none is you're fucking liars okay um well this is also yeah deuteronomy 210 king james version the emims dwelt therein 
times past, a great people, great and many, and tall as the Anakims. Once more, these really tall people don't fucking exist. Uh, you know, all of you at your little homes and houses or where the fuck you're at on your cell phones, you can look up, uh, you know, the tallest human skeleton or the tallest humanoid skeleton that we have uh, is a guy named Robert Wadlow and he was eight feet tall. He didn't even hit nine feet tall. That's what we have. That's what we have. There's, I don't know if his um, skeleton is on display at a museum. I really don't know, but <clears throat> according to actual science and records and, and uh, like fucking, you know, expert shit, this guy's skeleton, his body, you know, he was the tallest human or humanoid that has been documented. Um, eight feet tall, almost nine feet tall. Didn't make it, didn't even make it to nine feet. So, but, but wait a second. These biblical stories are talking about giants that are so big. We're nothing more than fucking grasshoppers in comparison to them. And they, not only that, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really get in super in depth, but apparently there were other features with them that were just different. Like having fucking six fingers on each hand or six toes on each foot. Um, Robert Wadlow didn't have six fingers and six toes. Um, you're fucked. You lost. Um, so anyhow, I guess that sums up this video. Um, <clears throat> you can leave comments and whatnot down, down below. Uh, if you like, do you think that, uh, you know, are you still out to kill the giants? You know, somebody who's eight feet tall or nine feet. If there was somebody who was actually nine feet tall, should we go uh, kill them? Because they might have the blood of Nephilim in them.